Cooper buddies, great one for Halloween, Alice Cooper and Feed My Frankenstein. So I'm playing with a drop D tuning, the bottom string is tuned from an E, down a tone to a D. Okay, I just started with the chord, the power chord there, D, A, D on 12, 12, 12. Sliding that down and into the main riff. Okay, so what I'm playing is open D, to F on 3, G on 5, back to F on 3, open D. Then open D again, F on 3, this time sliding to 7, that's an A, then G on 5, back to A on 7. the first part again and then I'm going to the 12th position and play 12 12 12 with a slight kind of palm mute so just that D power chord on the bottom three strings and then I kind of rock backwards and forwards between 10 and 10 on the D and G strings that's a C and F so I've got a partial F chord there and back to the D chord back to the F Back to D, back to F, back to D, then G on 12 and 12 to F. So 12 and 12 on the D and G strings to 10 and 10. Okay, and then we're into the main riff again. This time we just don't play that last bit. Just go rock between the D, F, D, F, D, F, D. So it's a great fun little riff to play. And that's played on the intro and the chorus. So that's the chorus and the intro there. And then we've got the verse section where I'm just playing. Just a palm mute. Between D and just putting in an F on three. So I'm just playing that quite simply. I think there's a second guitar in the mix, an octave higher. Just, you know, doubling up there. That kind of thing. But the main riff, nice and low, nice and fat on the bottom there. Okay, and then we've got... Then we're going to an, an A. So I'm just playing an A and then a C on three. And then just repeat C, A, C. So just kind of going between those two notes. Then a G on five on the bottom string. A G sharp on six take us back into repeat. Then, then the first part of that riff again, A, A, C, A, 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 C, A, C. Then we're going chromatically up. Just A, A sharp, B, C sharp. Sorry, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp. So open. One, two, three, four. And that takes us into the chorus. So that's in the chorus. 
Now for the guitar solo, I was playing, I went to the D part. And so the D that we're playing on the verse. Okay, and that's over, that's underneath all that kind of, kind of atonal, kind of scratchy guitar that we'll look at later. And then we switched to uh, a G chord. So, oh, sorry. So basically we're playing like we played on the A there. So I'm just playing G and B flat on five and eight. Then going to F, F sharp. And then again, just those G and B flat notes. And, and then again, another chromatic climb up there. So I'm going G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. And then we're into, so, We're playing the basically the same riff as we played at the start on the intro and chorus, but this time in C and without the. Okay, so I'm just playing C on three, E flat, F, E flat, C, three, three, one, three, one, three on the A and D strings, and three, three, one, five, three, five. Then the first part again, and a little stop there, and then that repeats. Okay, and then we're back into the chorus after the guitar solo. So we guess we've got intro, first chorus, first chorus, that solo section, and back into a chorus and the rest of the song. Okay, so next let's take a look at a crazy guitar solo. For the guitar solo, I was playing an approximation of what's on the record. It starts with two guitars, one playing some slides, another playing some scratches, but I just kind of put two together and just had some fun with it. So I'd start with like a little slide, just down the neck, and followed by just putting my finger around the pick, muting the strings and just kind of scratching up and down with my plectrum just to create just kind of random kind of sound effect there it's more like a sound effect really than a solo and then we went into the more classic style solo and I'm starting on the G minor pentatonic scale and playing an F on 18 bending that to a G on 15 I'll play the G. Just repeating that bend. Again, not playing too precise with how it's played on the record. And then just going to a B flat there on 18. Bending that to C and then continuing to push the bend further up to go really kind of extreme. So. Just. Just really pushing that bend past the C, probably up to about a D. Yeah, and and then going up to a D on 22, bend, bending that a minor third to an F, and then uh, and then running down. So 22 bending up to what would be uh, 25. Okay, and then. 22, 21, 20, 18, D, D flat, C, B flat. And then what we're doing is, is bending an A flat up to a C. Up to that note. So um, two tones were bending it up. And putting lots of vibrato on. You can even put some whammy bar on, whatever you like. This solo is all about being kind of uh, energetic, giving it lots of, uh, you know, 
uh, bends, lots of whammy bars, just having some fun with it basically. And then I'm playing a B flat on, as we go to the C section of the solo, I'm playing a B flat on 18 and also an F on 18 on the B string and bending that F slightly and adding some whammy bar to that. And then playing down a C minor pentatonic scale. 11, 8, 11, 8, 10, 8, 10. E flat, C, B flat, G, F, E flat, C. Okay. And then we've got this great little lick. So I'll play. And I like this lick because the last few notes are kind of unusual and... Uh, so I'm playing a B flat on 11 to C on 13 as a bend. And then coming down the blues scale, B flat, G, G flat, F. So that's 11, 8, 11, 10. Now this was a kind of classic blues lift. You've probably got something like that. But this changes and from the F, we go to a B natural down on the 9th fret of the D string. And then I'm playing G, F, G, E flat, B natural. So on the A string, 10, A, 10. So from B natural on 9 of the D string to 10, A, 10. And then E flat on 8 on the G string back to the B natural on 9 so okay nice unusual lick there and then we got I'm just playing A to B flat as a semitone bend I play C, B flat and bend it again. So 8, 11, bend 10 to 11. And then there's a stop on the record and over that stop, I'm just dipping that, that bent note with the mummy bar. Okay. And then after the stop, we're into the last part of the solo. So I'll go all the way up the neck, up to 20, and bend a C up to E flat on a minor third bend. So. And um, so, and just a nice big note there. And then we've got a bend of B flat to C, A flat to B, land on a G. So. So I'm playing 18 to 20. There's a bend, 17 to 18, then 15. And that's where I brought a second guitar in, played a little harmony. So, I did F sharp to G. So, 14 to 15. Then, 15 to 17, D to E on the B string. And then C on 13. And then followed by the first guitar, I was just bending up and down on F to G. Like that. Uh, and so that's bending on 18 there, 20 on the B string. And on the other guitar, when I landed on the C, I was just adding some whammy bar to that. And then to finish off the solo, a great fun way to finish is just to play a big bottom D note because we're tuned down to drop D tuning. And just dive bomb it with your whammy bar and have a lot of fun. So next let's take a look at the bass part. For the bass, I'm mostly following the main guitar riff. So I start with... So I'm playing D, D, F, G, F, D on the A string, 5, then to 3 on the D string, to 5, back to 3, back to 5 on the A string, then D, D, F, A, D, A, 5, 5, then 
then three, then up to seven on the D string, five, seven, A, G, A. Back to the first part, stop on the D, and then the guitar plays, and on the last couple of notes of the guitar break, I'm just playing G, F to take us into a repeat. So. playing just a D octave higher on 7 on the G string so rather than playing I'm playing that the second time and then on the verse I'm just playing just a D on 5 to an F on 3 and then for the second section of the verse just an A to a C a, C, A, C, A, C, A, and a G of three on the bottom string to G sharp, and then back to A and C, and then this climb up A, B flat, B, C, C sharp. So open one, two, three, four. And then we're into the chorus, which is the same as the intro. Okay, so we just play the uh, what we played earlier. Then for the guitar solo, I started with just the D to F. Okay, and then I went to a G to B flat. Then an F to F sharp, so that's three to one. Then three, one, three, one on the bottom string, two. And then the second time, just G to B flat again, three to one, and then going, just climbing up, three, four, five, six, seven, G, A flat, A, B flat B and then we're into basically the same riff we played on the verse or the sorry chorus sorry uh, but this time in C so I'm playing 10 so 8 sorry 8 6 8 6 8 on the bottom two strings 8 8 6 10 8 10 then 8 6 8 6 8 and a stop and then that again and then we're back into out of the guitar solo and back into our chorus Okay, so uh, it's a great tune for Halloween, so I hope you enjoy a bit of Alice Cooper and Feed My Frankenstein. And thanks for watching, buddies.